the fact that it's such a low cooldown costs no mana. You just have such increased movement speed all the time, basically. The auto attack damage is a huge bonus to me, although I should have gotten it a little sooner. It's kind of late. My money gain is still kind of garbage. I haven't even lost that much from dying, actually. Just kind of surprising. Just not getting much in the way of farm. Although I do have four kills and seven assists. Ah, oh, missing that. There we go. Focus Monkey King, yeah, I totally agree. Although if Monkey King is willing to run out of the battle to kill someone who's not really important at that point, it's not the end of the world. He may be getting a little more farm. Now, we've got to be... Let's go back here briefly. Let's take a look at the money. No, look at the money. We're actually behind on money. And actually, Monkey King doesn't even have that much. Wow. How... Uh, wait, that's not what this means. I'm reading this the wrong way, aren't I? Hmm. I don't remember which way it's supposed to go when someone's ahead. Uh, oh, I can do this. Okay, yeah, no, I'm right. Um, we are slightly behind on gold, slightly ahead on XP, and that's about to correct itself momentarily. Uh, or... Or maybe we'll just lose Thunderbringer again, because that seems to be the thing to happen. Just, like, walks into four of them. That's okay, we didn't need his help in the upcoming push at all. There I am, ult is up again. Ah, oh, god. And that there's very little more satisfying than getting off a good ult. And there's very little more frustrating than never getting a chance to ult at all, because they just focus fired you and CC'd you. You see here, they're clumping up again. I'm just waiting for someone to sort of draw some fire. Where am I? Get in there, get in there, get in there. Rush in there with your boots. No, I guess we don't have enough going on. Got a little bit of vision, we've got them surrounded. There we go, there's the init. Run in, ultimate. Bounce. Mm, bounce, 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 bounce. Oh, really? Just thought he was going to die. There he goes down. Finally. Lovely. That's not my kill either. Ah. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be this frustrated, but it's like, I want the kills. When I ult well, I want my ult to kill someone. Not almost kill them. There we go. I got Gravedigger. Hooray. Little explosive minions running around. Actually taking a lot of damage from these minions. There you go. Nom one. And actually, I should have hit them with my Q. Got some kills, weakened them, helped the push a little bit here. Because with so many of them dead, ah, oh, they popped up pretty quick. We're not that far into the game, the levels aren't that high. So the resurrections are pretty quick. But I have some money now, I have my Helm of the Victim, and I, I have enough to finish it. I may just run back to base to recharge here and probably pick up a TP stone as well as finishing the items. There we are. Ah, oh, look at me. Wards of Sight. Although, a TP stone, I still have money left. Nope, just gonna run out. Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure I agree with my own decision. He's awfully ballsy going out there by his, his lonesome. Easily a gank. Calling a gank on Kronos is a good idea. Although, again, you're leading the charge. You could have a problem, although I suppose you got a stun. There we go. Now we know where people are. Good ward. I love when you're doing a jungle invasion to leave these sort of behind you. Very, very valuable, even if they don't give you the hugest sight in general. Although, it's actually not bad for, for setting up more ganks later on as well. Um, lots of vision in this spot. I'm really starting to learn all the really good ward spots. Because it's important to know them. I like these high pillars and defensively. I mean, you have to be either very deep in their territory or very far on your back foot for it to be worthwhile. But then they're so good. They give a, a vision over such a large part of your jungle. They're just stupendous. And I did point, point out this uh, this cool spot earlier. I don't like that the map's not symmetrical. kind of drives me crazy. I like this spot a lot. you see me ward here. Because, again, it gives just enough vision to catch the rune here. Also watches to see what's going on with these dragons, watches the river. It's a good spot no matter what team you're on, but I do prefer it on the Hellborn team, generally speaking. Um, just because it allows you to be a little bit more aggressive. Although it's a really good spot. If, if you're on a back foot, if you're being really defensive as the Legion, then it also becomes a good place to put it. Oh, this is not a fight that's going well for Team Good Guy or Team Bad Guy. I did alt, but I'm not sure if I got anything... Uh... Oh no, three of them are dead. Alright, I guess that worked out after all. <laughs> what? Uh, Nighthound, you better not get splash damaged. 
There you go, I'm starting to finally use my shield. This is the last ability that I get. It's quite potent, uh, but, and you know, maybe I should play one game where I actually max that out first. Or something, drop off the Q, just go for Extinguish and Curse Shield and use it. I don't know. I, I, you still need a little bit of this to harass, and rank 1 is not that good for harass. You want to get rank 2, and if you've already gotten to rank 2, you may as well keep going. I think that's the sort of thing that goes. Um, I could stop Extinguish at maybe rank 2, as opposed to going all the way up to 4. That might be enough. Um, that might be enough mana regen. I mean, I guess the percentages are always the same. It's the, the cooldown time that changes, right? No! The percentages change. Uh, and the cooldown changes. Okay. So I'm not totally crazy. buy the hidden shop and then I don't buy a ward? Oh, they may have been out. Uh, looks like I don't get timers in this view. That's kind of annoying. What am I going to build next? Probably going towards the Staff of the Master. And generally speaking, I do like to pick up the Intelligence item first because running out of mana in a fight sucks. Like, you don't have the deepest mana pool. Your stuff is kind of expensive. 325 plus 190. So, that, that's at about 500. Um, and I do have more than that in my mana pool. And the Curse Shield's really cheap, that's true. But if you queue twice and all at once, then you will be out of mana. And I guess, at that point, you've kind of done a lot. So, um, if I feel like I'm being pressured and killed a lot, usually I'll go for the Strength item. But otherwise, I almost always... There you go, get the Int item. It does help with your auto attacks as well. Gives you a little bit more recharge. Let's maybe be a little bit more free to harass with my Q if I get the opportunity to take some pot shots and then still feel comfortable that I'm going to have enough to alt. He just dropped a ward here. He knows my secret ward spot. What is this? Oh, Hammerstorm catching Monkey King. Monkey King is going awfully fast and he's not alone. But we may, looks like we're going to flock over in this direction. We should be able to get a good knit with Nighthound doing the scouting. Oh! Get spotted? What? What is this sorcery? Still good in it. Good bounces over here. Kinesis took a hit there too. I think it stopped bouncing after it hit him. Uh, I'm gonna pull back. We should be able to wipe these guys out though. Yeah, Cursed, you are not long for this life. I mean, maybe you can get away. Wow. That ultimate. Oh, nice engage there by Kronos. Does catch Hammerstorm. Get a kill. Maybe able to get Nighthound as well. No, Nighthound will be able to get away. And we have to get the heck out of dodge. No, we come back in. A little bit of damage on a curse. Should be able to finish him off, actually. Oh, Rampage! That was so my kill. What are you doing? No, I don't actually care about that. I mean, I suppose if that was a pure, pure carry and I was a pure, pure hard... Or if, that, if he was a pure, pure support and I was a pure, pure hard carry, then I'd be a little bit upset. I do tend to be upset if I take kills away from hard carries. Um, but in this particular game, oh, if that guy spotted me, why is he not killing me? Did not notice that I was there. Woo! TB pushing bot. Probably just gonna try to get kills with his ultimate. And what am I doing? Nothing. Alright. Just waiting for my mana recharge, I guess. Finally pick up a TP stone this time. How are we going to get to him on time? We have great vision down here and like lots of team play for buying those ward. Heaven's line doing a good job and I'm there too. And that's the thing, I've seen Hammerstorm played a few different ways uh, and this sort of like in it support type build is very, very, very handy. You know, you, you portal key in, you stun, and you spend some money on wards. It is tough to buy wards if you're going to initiate because you could be so squishy. But it's been working out for us so far. Where our head there? How does the uh, actual... Look at this! We're still behind? No. On gold, we still no significant lead. It's a little mis misleading because we are nine kills ahead in terms of, yeah, kills. But they... the gold situation is not that far off. We're ahead by only 16k right now, which or 1.6k, which is not that much. A little better on the XP, which does make a difference, of course. And there's a fight going off down here. Looks like we got another ultimate off. Nice bounces. Nice damage there, too. I have finally got a kill. Hooray! 6, 2, and 16. That seems acceptable. I mean, I could be doing better, but yeah. So things are doing well. And it's 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 strange. They should be hitting us just as hard, but we're I think we're we've got a lot more map control. Well, 
Actually, let's go back to here for a little while. I'm not expecting them to have a lot of wards, although here... Like, they haven't had the map control, so... What? But what are we doing with the map control? We're obviously not getting really good farm. Uh, looks like he portal kill keyed in there and didn't really have help to follow up. Although, now it's going well. There we are. Nighthound going in with the shrunken head, getting a lot of damage put down. I don't have my ult for this fight, so I'm very, very sad, because I don't get to really do much. Just Q from time to time. The Q does do good damage and, of course, slows people and does an AoE. It's certainly not a bad spell. Um, but then I start to try to make sure that I'm spamming my shield a little bit more often. And, oh, oh my god, how did Nighthound survive there? 14 HP. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Now Nighthound's starting to pull ahead in GPM. And, in fact, Kronos and Monkey King have lost out on theirs a little bit. Pull back with a little bit of damage. We got a nice push. Got some more kills than they killed us, I think. Maybe, maybe not. We didn't get this tower either. Just got it low. So we're going to play cautiously here. We're ahead. We don't want to give up the lead by some stupid over aggressive play. The thing is, they push pretty deep down here. Um, that tower wise, I guess they're ahead by one, which is part of the reason the gold is so equitable. Hmm. What an interesting game. Well, now we are pulling ahead in gold. I'm actually really happy that I did this replay because I'm finding out a lot more about how the game went than how I imagined. It was feeling very good all along, but I'm, I'm starting to realize that a lot of the reason it was feeling so good was just because it was feeling so good. We were so confident about things. People were engaging in a very decisive manner, even though we were really not much stronger than they are. Again, you know, we have a slight advantage now in gold, and, and we've had a slight advantage in XP most of the game, but not even that much. Not that it mattered. Alright, so I got my strength item now, which is nice. Get the HPs. If I can finish the Staff of the Master, it's always very, very nice. Usually any game where I've, I've managed to, s to complete the Staff of the Master, I don't need the Staff of the Master, because it, it's representative of the fact that we're so far ahead. Because I get such poor early game farm that... Staff of the Master means it's gone on for so long. I, I don't know. And I've been able to farm up money. Even though I've, I farm up slow, I've still managed to farm up enough for that. It's a pretty good sign. Or it's just a sign that it's a really long game. A bit of a lull here again. Oh, in Biz Thunderbringer trying to get some scout on for us. They do have some good wards, actually. So they're semi-aware of what we're up to, except for the fact that we've got so much invisibility right now. They're sticking together well, although against my ultimate, it's almost a penalty. Speaking of my ult, it is up right now. Here I am trying to get a little bit of farm. Woo. I Man, I love this replay client. <laughs> I know I've said that before, but it is so cool. Especially after trying to do replays for League of Legends, which is a wonderful, fun game. But the lack of the replay functionality is still almost inexplicable. Inexplicable, inexcusable. They've got, they've got so many players. If their client was better suited to this sort of esports side of things, um, like they would, they would crush things so, so completely. It wouldn't even be funny. The fact that Han's got such better technology behind it is quite nice. Ooh, hit the wrong key to see the wrong person. Nice initiation here. This Hammerstorm, at low, the sort of low to medium level play where I am. Okay, there's no, there's not much medium. It's, it's low level play is where I am. It's all about the initiations, and this Hammerstorm has really been doing a really good job. Like the carry may walk away with the impressive score, but it's the initiation that depend that determines how things go. Uh, are we gonna actually kill this guy? Thank you. And concession vote, it may go through. We're not that far ahead. Defin definitely ahead. We should get a tower here, which is going to make a big, big difference. And the kill, it's psychologically. The kill is, is horrible, and they keep giving up the complete map control. I don't think there's a coming back from... Well, no, that's not true. If they're playing defensively, if they fight at the tower, they could win a fight and come back. We've certainly done it plenty of times. I mean, we've certainly failed to do it plenty of times, but it's not a position where it's hopeless here. 
Because we are very, very pushed. If we had gone in on this tower, that would be that. Looks like we're going to apply some more pressure to the mid. Hmm. Where am I off to? Steal them in their jungle. At this point, yeah, it starts to snowball as long as you continue to take advantage of it. They do potentially have vision here. Nice if there was a hotkey. Like in, in StarCraft, I can hit highlight it with something and then hit V and get like very quickly the uh, the viewpoint of that selected object. There's probably a way to do this in here, but I don't know. Are we setting up for a Congor? Doesn't seem wise. I mean, their team is alive. And we haven't been counter warding, so we have to assume they've got wards all over this area, which is in fact exactly the case. And that's one thing I have to do is probably start counter warding a little bit more. Um, but it's frustrating because the, f the few times that I have, I don't always catch things because A, at this level, it's not a guarantee that the other team is going to be warding. They're not necessarily that good. And B, they may I may not be catching the right places, both because I don't know the optimal places to counter ward. And again, they just may not be warding with the right amount of volume. Obviously, here would have been a good time to drop a counter ward here. That would have uh, probably not reached this one. Oh, that's that's one of ours. This one. Oh, I'm doing that thing again where I reverse the colors on the sight wards. Because in spectator mode, all the legion stuff is green. Whereas if I'm watching from my point of view on the Hellborn side, the Hellborn stuff is green. So confusing. I can't be expected to keep track of colors. Dragon Head, Firebrand, Null Fire Blade, Ghost Marchers, and a recipe for another Null Fire Blade. Or a level up. Or, there you go, level 2. Ah, stop moving everything around. Yeah, level 2. <laughs> and me, very slowly, very slowly. Oh no, I do have a glowstone. Okay, let's say slowly work my way up to a master, a staff of the master. So, can I just quickly fast forward? No, not through hotkey. We're being kind of passive, but I think people were buying their items. Some people still have a bit of money, so we may be wanting to play passively here just to save up. Although, and if you look at the pro games, you see people want around with like three or four thousand gold sometimes, and it's like, I could never do that because I'm going to die and lose it all. But I guess they know what they're doing. Looks like here we're going to try to go after Kronos, who, ooh, nice blink into the woods here. Are we going to be able to hunt him down in there? Ah, Nighthound, nice little TP, and he's definitely going down. Now can you escape? That's the question. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you could walk right through there. Awesome. Hmm. See, you know, it's it sounds great like flanking here, but as a squishy person, I think that just ends up singling you out. And God forbid they have a ward here, then you'd just be screwed. But what are you gonna do? Join the team fight in from this side? You're just gonna get crushed. Nice hiding spot though, I'm gonna have to remember that. And then come from behind. When everyone else is engaged. Alt, which doesn't really matter where he is. Oh no, our hero's gonna go down! I didn't even have my alt for this fight, which is a shame, because otherwise that would have been overwhelmingly for us. And, oh, Rampage goes down as well. This went really... Uh, kind of even, I guess. Okay. It felt like it went really bad, but I guess it went fine. And I lived. That's what's important. Although, I think you over... Oh my god. Nighthound, how are you so lucky all the time? Walking away with 14 hit points, watch, walking away with 50 hit points. <gasps> Staff of the Master. Very nice. I like it. Ah, I finally got some words of revelation. I think we may be planning on going in Congor, so it's, I'm like... It's time to counter ward. I don't think they have Congor warded exactly, as it turns out, but... And that's it, so I'll come here and I'm going to drop a counter ward like, I don't know, here-ish, I guess. And I don't know the range exactly, so I, I, I would want to catch this one. So yeah, I don't know, yeah, that's probably too close. Because if they had a ward up here, probably wouldn't see it. Although this would allow me to see a ward inside of the Congor nest, which is possibly. I actually should have bought two counter wards. Put one here, 
and put one here. Would have been a good idea. Oh, I remember this place. If we, uh... There we go, yeah. See, I sent these two out to scout, and then I accidentally did not select myself again properly, so I pulled my illusion back, and I'm just checking in here to make sure there's nothing in here, and then I'm going to do a bunch of stuff right now with my illusion. Accidentally controlling my illusion except my, instead of myself, because I didn't realize I didn't properly switch back to my main character. So we're going to go hunting in the jungle here, I'm going to be backing up Hammerstorm, I got my ultimate, I'm going to be trying to ult someone very shortly. It's going to be amazing, you have no idea. No idea how awesome I am. Oh, or did that already happen? Maybe I was trying, I remember trying to cast stuff. Maybe I was just trying to shield Hammerstorm. Alright, that, that wouldn't be so bad. Looks like they're moving in. They know we've been buzzing around here, they know it's coming. We have vision, we know it's coming, they're going to not engage in my illusion. But they're going to clump up here. I have my ultimate, I have my ultimate. Ult, 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 ult. Okay, it's, it's off. There you go. Bounce, 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 bounce. Bounce, 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 bounce. Bounce, 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 bounce. Bounce, 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 bounce. Alright, that went pretty good, I'd say. We killed all of them. Didn't lose a single person. Now we're going to be able to Kong. Clearly GG. The score, very much in our favor at this point. Overwhelmingly so. There's the concede vote. There you are, folks. I hope you enjoyed this game. I certainly enjoyed walking away with my fantastical score of 10, 2, and 20. God, I'm so good at this game. Don't you wish you were as good at this as I am? Anyway, that's it. I will catch you guys next time.